Hey, Frank M. Ahern, privacy consultant, blackmail expert, and author of How to Disappear. So today I'm going to talk about escort blackmail. Now there's various types of scams out there, but what I'm going to discuss at the moment happens to be escort blackmail that involves specifically blackmailers, not real escorts. That's a whole other video. So what happens is blackmailers will post escort ads you know, with photos of, you know, attractive women who are selling services and they'll do them on a variety of websites internationally from Germany to the States to Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, wherever it may be. And so what happens is, okay, victims will text and ask questions. Hey, you know, what do you guys offer? Where are you located? How much? Whatever it may be. But what happens is the victim does not realize that the blackmailer is now running their phone number through either Google or some sort of online database. And if they get a hit on data, the database, okay, it's pretty damaging because most databases have your name, your address, sometimes spouse, neighbors, family, all contact information. So they have this information. So they want to make sure you're that person. So sometimes what they'll do is they'll, they'll ask you to send a photo and they'll run that, you know, they'll say, hey, listen, I want to make sure you're not a cop, send me a photo. And they get your photo, they start searching that online. They have your spouse's name, they look for her Facebook page or her Instagram. So you just start gathering this data. Now there's two types of blackmailers in this and I'll explain the difference between the blackmailers. So what they also do is they entice sexual conversation. So what are you interested in? Would you like two girls? You want to be tied up? Whatever it may be. So they just engage you. So what, what the problem is, your text messaging becomes the issue. Okay, that's what they're going to blackmail you with. That's what they're going to contact your spouse, your employer, and, and leak to them if you don't pay them a fee. Now, the two types of blackmailers is one that's just straight up. They're going to threaten to expose you to your spouse. And they're going to have your spouse's phone number, maybe her Facebook page, her job, whatever it may be. And that's the threat right there. Then there's the other blackmailers who claim that they are the pimp and you wasted the girl's time and they want a payday. And if you don't pay them X amount of dollars, they're coming to XY Main Street, which is your home address. And they're gonna kill your spouse. They're gonna kill your kids. They're gonna send you pictures of decapitated bodies. Really, really gruesome stuff. And initially it's pretty frightening because you don't know if it's real or, or, or what. And you're assuming that the escort is in the town that you're in or, or you know, has They'll sometimes claim that they have, you know, associates that will go to your home as well. But those types of blackmail threat is not such a big thing. They just want to get the money from the threat. They'll claim they're a cartel. They're not a cartel. It's the other ones that are the real problem because they are looking to expose you to your spouse, your family, your neighbors, your job. You know, the strange part is what I don't understand is people go online looking for escorts and they use a real phone number. What they also do is they will protect themselves or they'll protect their actions to make sure their spouse doesn't find out, but they do nothing to make sure that the escort or the supposed escort never finds out who their spouse is. It's a weird one-sided protection. And you use your phone number or you send your, your photo, it's a huge mistake because they're just gathering information on you. So be very careful. And this is a very, very active scan that happens every day and if you do get hit up by a blackmailer stall number one step in combating blackmail stall i have no money i need 24 hours my friend will lend me money i can pay tomorrow most blackmailers will agree they'll be extremely aggressive bottom line is you got to get that 24 hours and then come up with a plan whether it be something you figure out on your own or you hire someone like myself so be safe and don't do anything dumb. That's my story.